What's up world, this is Worlds Gaming here today and today I'm going to be bringing you a video about iOS 10 and messages. I know if you have iOS 10, you're probably seeing a lot of different icons on messages, the application. So what this video is mostly going to do is going to go ahead and explain to you some of those icons and actually some of the new features with iOS 10 messages. If this video helps you out along the way, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, leave a like and also leave a comment below if you have any questions or just as a thank you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go into messages. Now, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and try to find somebody just to message. All right, now that I have my contact up there, I'm just gonna go ahead and send them a quick hi just to make sure they are able to receive my messages. And we're gonna wait and see here what they reply. Okay, cool. It seems like they are able to receive my messages and it seems like they are actually using one of the new features. So let's see here what they're currently gonna go ahead and reply. Okay, so it seems like they reply with just a simple hello. So what we're actually gonna go ahead and do is on their message where it says hello in gray, we're gonna go ahead and tap it and just hold it down there for about two seconds. And it's gonna bring up this new message. And there's different things that you can do. You can either give it a heart, give it a thumbs up, a thumbs down, a ha ha, an exclamation mark, or a question mark. And either way, it will show up on their end, kind of like a, how it showed up on ours. And as you can see, they reply there with a smiley face. So one more time, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to bring up that menu. So on the smiley face that they just sent me, I'm going to go ahead and hold it down for about two seconds. And then I'm just going to give me that menu. And I'm just going to either, I can copy and do more here on the bottom, but I don't want to go ahead and do that yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to that menu and I'm just going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And it seems like they're asking me how was my day. So what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and do great. But I don't want to just say great. I want to make sure my friends are aware of how great my day was. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is on the send button, the blue button with the white arrow pointing up, I'm going to go ahead and press that and hold it down for about two seconds as well. And that's going to bring up this new menu where it actually lets you do full screen effects. So I can either do an invisible link, a gentle, loud, or slam. So what I want to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and tap on slam here. And I'm going to go ahead and press the blue button with the white arrow pointing up just to fully send it. Boom. There you go. And let's wait and see here what they're going to reply. And look at that, they actually reply also with the special effects. So that's another cool thing. So one more time, just to recap how to bring up that menu, we're just going to go ahead and type in something random here. And then I'm going to press again the send button, which is once again, the blue button with the white arrow pointing up, just holding that for two seconds, and it will bring up this menu. And after that, I can either select some of these links, which I can do an invisible link. If you're trying to set something private to somebody, you can do an invisible link. And what you'll do, you'll just pretty much show it like that. And what they'll have to do is they'll kind of have to wipe out the dust from the message to be able to see what you sent them or vice versa. And right here, it seems like they actually sent me an invisible link as well. So here we go. We're going to wipe it off. And the way you do that is on the message itself, you just swipe left and right on the message and it will wipe off pretty much what is said there. And after a while, since you did want your message to be private, it will go back to being invisible. And then you can go ahead and just wipe it again just to make sure you can see that message one more time in case it's something like a phone number or anything like that. So if you are trying to send some private information like a phone number or anything, even you can do this with pictures. And let me actually go ahead and just show you how you can do this with pictures. And what I can do here, if you're currently not able to see your camera icon on the left hand side, right next to where it says iMessage, you're gonna see that gray button with kind of like a white arrow pointing towards the right hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on that. And as you can see here, we have three new icons. So first, so first of all, let me just go ahead and take a picture here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smile, be like, there you go. And now before I send that, what I'm actually gonna wanna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and press again on the blue button with the arrow pointing up, with the white arrow pointing up. And I'm gonna go ahead and send that as an invisible link. So you can go ahead and send that and pretty much like with the text, it will send that as well. Just without any hesitation, what you have to do is you just have to make sure you go ahead and wipe it off. And as you can see there, now they're able to see my picture. So all I have to do now is they just have to go ahead and wipe it off. And as you can see there, now they can see my picture. Oh, cool. It seems like they're sending me something. Oh, they actually sent me a heartbeat. So that's pretty neat. So let me go ahead and show you how you can actually send that heartbeat. So now on those three new icons, you're going to go ahead and tap on the icon with the two hearts right here. And as you can see here on the right hand side, it shows different options. So you can tap on that and it's pretty much going to explain to you. Let's see. Let's tap on just one of these icons just because I want to find out what each one does. So to sketch, you can actually just draw with one finger with tap. You can actually just tap on the screen with one finger for a fireball. You can press down with one finger for a kiss. You can tap with two fingers for a heartbeat. You can tap and hold with two fingers and for a heartbreak. If you're ever breaking up with your girlfriend, I guess this is might be the right occasion. Go ahead and tap 
and hold down with two fingers then drag down to just break the heart just please make sure if you are going to break up don't do it over text just do it face to face and don't do it at a restaurant because that'll be an awful idea so what i'm going to go ahead and do here is i'm just going to go ahead and hold down with two fingers and just drag it down and my heart's gonna break just like that and as you can see there on the top and as you could see there on the top right hand side that heart just broke now another thing you can do here from this screen you don't necessarily have to have the full screen up you can actually just minimize that and you can do it here on the little screen as well you can just start sketching something and you can change the color as you can see here what i'm currently doing is pretty cool you guys can send each other cool images maybe you can challenge your best friend to a draw off whatever it is that you guys want to do that's one of the really cool new features of ios 10 and there you go it's currently starting to play there what i was doing and let's see here what my friend's gonna reply with all right and let's see what they're currently sending me here okay it seems like a it seems like a green worm inside a red heart with an arrow across. All right, well, that's interesting. So what I wanna go ahead and do is I wanna kinda go ahead and send a gift. So what you need to do is you need to press on the icon that shows kinda like the App Store icon, and that's gonna bring up like a gift menu. And what you can do from there is just find any image. What I wanna search for is, huh? Cause I'm pretty confused of what they were trying to do. So let me go ahead and send this Kevin Hart gift right here. We'll go ahead and see what they say and what i want to go ahead and do is i want to put a full effect screen so i'm just going to go ahead and tap on the top right hand side you'll see it has two options a bubble effect or a screen effect so now i don't i don't think balloons is right for this one so if you don't want the balloons if it's not the right occasion for this you can actually just swipe from right to left or left to right whichever it is that you're on in this case i'm just going to go, go ahead and swipe from right to left and as you can see there it sends me confetti i don't think confetti is the right time with lasers maybe that sounds really that looks really really cool actually fireworks i don't think fireworks or the shooting star are the right one for this one so i'm just gonna go ahead and you know what just to test this out i'm just gonna go ahead and send it out with lasers and look at that it even shows the lasers on my end so let's see here what my friend's gonna go ahead and reply and it seems like they're getting ready to send me something here so let's see what kind of crazy stuff they're gonna send me Oh, look at that, it's a party. So this is pretty much what the person's gonna see. If you ever send something with lasers or a full screen effect, that's what you're gonna see as well. And once again, if you do have a hidden link or anything like that and you wanna revisit it, just go ahead and just swipe it across and you'll be able to see that image again. Look at my face right there. <laughs> now, another really cool feature about iOS 10 and messages is that if you put your iPhone or iPod or whatever it is in landscape mode, it's gonna show you this new cool thing that you can actually go ahead and type and you can select there at the bottom as you can see you can go ahead and select different fonts that you want to use so i'm just going to go ahead and use the first one there i'm just going to select hello that looked really cool at first and then it just turned like a 12 year old testing so and there you go as you can see it will change through as well it will say congratulations thinking of you or whatever it is that you wanted to say and if i want to clear it, i'll just go ahead and tap on the clear button there and i just want to go ahead and try that again i want to put hello and then you can just go ahead and tap on done and go ahead and send that. And you'll be pretty much sending a personalized message there with your own handwriting. All right, worlds. Well, this is pretty much the tutorial that I have for you guys. If this video helped you out along the way, make sure you give it a like. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe because I am going to be sending out a lot more tutorials with iOS 10 if this is something you guys want to see more of. And feel free to let me know in the comments which feature you would like me to do a tutorial video on because I'll be more than happy to do that. As always, worlds, it's been Decent Worlds Gaming. I'll see you on the next one.